In this video, we'll show you how to make a service page design in WordPress without writing a single line of code. When people visit your site, they'll want to learn about the services you offer. With a service section or page design, you can quickly provide that information, making it easier for potential customers to learn more about your small business. So here I have a clean installation of WordPress, and the first thing that we'll need to do is to install the SeedProd plugin. So we can head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. And Seedprod is the best drag and drop WordPress website builder. And we're gonna come over here and click on get Seedprod. Now you're gonna select the account that makes the most sense for you. I'm gonna be using the pro version for this video. Once you have an account set up, we're gonna go ahead and click on login. Great, on the left-hand side, you're gonna enter your email address, your password and click login. Next, we're gonna click on the second tab from the left here called Downloads, and we're gonna click on Download Seaprod Pro. And on the left-hand side here, we're gonna click on the license key here. There's a little icon here to copy this license to your clipboard, and we can go ahead and close this tab. Now I'm back inside of WordPress, and on the left-hand side, we're gonna to go to Plugins and Add New, and up top, we're gonna to click on Upload Plugin. Here, we're gonna choose the file, which is the zip file that we just downloaded, or you can drag and drop it if you're using the same browser, and click Install Now. Next, let's go ahead and click on Activate Plugin. Here we can paste that license key right here and click verify key. You should see a green success message in the top right corner. Great, we can close this tab at the bottom of the browser if you have the same browser. Now on the left-hand side, we wanna set up our service page. We're gonna select a landing page template here by selecting landing pages under seed prod in the menu. And here we can see the different modes that come with seed prod, such as coming soon mode, maintenance mode, login page, and 404. We're actually gonna come down here to the bottom where it says add new landing page and click on this. Now, Seedprod is going to ask you to choose a new page template. And here, Seedprod comes with many, many different pre-made templates that you can choose from. And I'm just going to pick this one here called Valet Sales Page. And what I'm looking for is, since we're creating a services page, I see a section here that has services already built inside of it. So it gives us a little bit of a head start. I'm going to hit the check mark here, and we'll just give it a quick name. I'll just call this one Services. You can call it whatever makes sense for you. And then I'm going to click on Save and start editing the page. Now here we can see the seed prod page builder on the left hand side we have our blocks that we can pull into the page it's a drag and drop editor so it makes it very easy we can change the block settings for each block we can duplicate them we can delete them we can do lots of easy things with them it's easy to manage and design our pages so here we can scroll down the page and see what we're dealing with we have different sections and you can just simply delete the sections that you don't want so that you can start creating your services page so for example, we have a big header here with a call to action to grab their email address if you wanted to capture that. If you just want to get to the services itself, we could delete this. Now we're left with the top part here about us with three different sections. If we scroll down, we actually have a services section here that we could use. Let's go ahead and we'll delete this section as well. The sections are colored in purple. You can see the border that goes around them. We also have the blocks which are orange. And if we come down, we can see the rows that are blue along with the columns. So great, I think that looks fine. At the top here, let's just rename this to services and we can just create a smaller header. We can actually replace the text here. I'm going to get rid of the email box here and we can just delete this. Since we have services up here, I'll remove this header here along with the text here. Great. So now you're left with a services page. You have the services up here. We can modify this. So if I select the headline here, you can change the text to whatever you wish. So I can put something maybe like our services or if you want to put something else, maybe our products. We have the alignment. We have this font size if you want to make it a little larger. We have the different semantic levels here. We also have advanced setting here for topography, the color, text shadows, spacing, attributes, device visibility, and animation. So if we come under animation, let's just add maybe a simple fade in. So when the page loads, it'll have a little bit of an effect there. Next, we have the text underneath here. So of course, you could just simply update the text. Once you've done that, you can do the same thing with the alignment. You could change the font size if you want to make it bigger or smaller. And then at the top, we have the same options for advanced, for style, spacing, attributes, device visibility, and animation. So instead of just making the text animate here, let's actually come back to advanced and remove this. And what we could do, instead of that, we could make the whole section fade in. So this is the purple section that's the, with the blue background. And if we come under advanced, and at the bottom, we have the same thing for animation effects. And here we can come down and add a fade in as well. That might be a little bit more dramatic and eye-catching. So let's modify this background. So we have the blue background for the section. And here you can change the background style, the color. We can't see the color right now because we have a background image on it. So if we deleted this, you can see that. And you can upload your own background image if you want to use an image. Or you could use a stock image. This comes built in with SeedProd. So I'll just type in mechanical here and I'll just maybe pick this photo here. And now you can see it doesn't really work with our text because it's light on light. So if we come down, we can change the background position first of all, if you want a background cover, 100 width top, repeat, whatever you wish here. We also have the dim background. So this is something that will turn on and then I'll just slightly bring it down and you can see that it fades that out. So I think that looks pretty good. You can also change the overlay color if you wanted, for example, the blue color. 
you could do so and you can make it a little bit darker if you want just so it has a little bit of that blue tint that we have with our text so that matches nicely if we come up we have advanced options for shadow we have a particle background so for example if we enable this you can see that we have this particle effect there's a polygon there's space we have snow snowflakes christmas halloween and a custom one where you can upload your own so i'll select space and then i'll just simply bring the opacity down a little bit just so it's a little bit eye-catching you don't have to do this this is just an added thing we also have flow direction here uh, the color that you want to use and any advanced settings such as number of particles the speed etc i'm going to minimize this we also have spacing we can change the margins and paddings the attributes the position device visibility animation effects border and shape divider shape dividers are great you can use those in different situations for example here's a tilt opacity you'll add to the to the top of the page here you can change the color so again we can do the blue you can change the width if you wish the height of it if you want to flip it or bring it to the front you can do the same thing to the bottom as well or change the color if you like you can change the opacity right on the color itself so maybe it's a little bit more faint but it does give it a nice little bit of a design there and there's many different shapes to choose from Great, so once you're happy with your header, you can come down to the next section, which actually lists your products, your services, whatever you're trying to sell or promote. And you can do the same thing. You just simply click on the block setting here with the image. If you want to use a different layout here, something that we can do is we can come back, click on the blocks, and you'll see blocks here on the left. And you can customize and completely create your own section by yourself using columns and combining it with images and buttons and any of the blocks that are here. We also have pre-made sections. So if we click on sections here, you can see all of them here that you could use and just simply import into your design. These are pieces of a website that you can import anywhere on your page. So you can get a quick head start. For example, if we click on call to action, here's one here called call to action six, we could import this and you can see this imports a nice design with a header, a nice big photo. And then maybe you could have your services here. So you could use this instead of the one that we're using above. You can see that I put it on the bottom so if you need help moving things around, we can use the layout navigator here in the bottom left. You can enable this. And this allows you to drag and drop different sections and parts of your website up and down the page if you need to. So I can just click and drag this. I'm going to go ahead and delete this for now. And we'll just continue where we left off. So for this image, we'll click on this. We can delete this and upload our own image or use a stock photo if you wish. There's different image sizes you can change. A custom link. So if you want this to go to a specific URL, either on your current website or or maybe a certain promotion that you have going on social media. Below that, we have the text that you can change. So here you can update the text along with the font size, the level, the advanced options, the same thing as the header above. You just simply do it with the text here as well. We have a block of text below this. And if you wish, maybe each one has a specific call to action button that you could add under each one. So we'll modify the block settings here. And I'll just change this to order now or contact now. And you can add some subtext here as well. And then you have a link here. So this can link to a sales page, an order page, maybe you WooCommerce product, whatever you're looking to upsell. Here's the button size. I'll just change this to small for now. I'll just keep this to small or medium for now. And you can add an icon to the buttons if you like. So instead of making the buttons from scratch again, you could just simply duplicate them and drag them over. And then you just update the link for each one. So here, I'll just do this. And there you go. Now, if we come down, we have some credibility here with the different brands trusted by with the logos. So you can keep these if you like, or remove them. We have some testimonials below that. And then you do have a place to capture some emails for your email list if you like, whatever information you'd like to put in here. We have the same background here that we could change. So I could delete this one and update that if I like. And there you go, I added the same background as above. And I just put the dim background with the very, very dark blue color there. Once you're happy with your page, you can actually connect your email to your favorite third-party email marketing service by clicking on connect in the top left corner here. So for example, if you want to use constant contact, you can click on connect, connect new account, and you can paste your API key in here. This API key you get from this service or each specific service. And if you need help finding that, you can use their documentation or contact their support. Once you have that API key, you can paste it, click connect, and now constant contact or any of these will manage your emails that you collect. And then lastly, we have the page settings here that you can go through. These are simple settings for your page title, the URL that we set already. You can show a Powered by Seedprod link. You can join the affiliate program. If you're having any confliction issues with other plugins, you can use isolation mode here. If you're using any Facebook features, you can paste your app ID right here. For SEO, we recommend installing all-in-one SEO. For analytics, we use Monster Insights. If you need any scripts for your header, body, or footer, you can paste those here. And you can also set up a custom domain as well. You have a link here to learn more about that. Once you're happy with your page, let's go ahead and save this. And I'll click the drop down and we'll click on publish. Let's go ahead and see the live page. 
And there we go. We can see our header that we fully customized with the particles, our title with the, our services, the description below that we have our list of services. And of course you could duplicate this as many times as you like and continue to go down the page. If you offer more than four, we have our button, we have our certified and trusted by section, our testimonials. And of course you can fully customize any piece of this and add as many parts as you like. So there you go. That's how you can create a service page design in WordPress by using Seedprod. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing to the channel and check out these videos to learn more about Seedprod. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.